It's been nearly three weeks now since Russian bombs started falling on Ukraine. At the beginning of the conflict, a lot of people wanted to stay in their homes. But now the United Nations says more than 2.8 million have fled, grabbing what they can and attempting to make the dangerous trek out into neighboring Romania, Hungary, Poland or elsewhere. Joining us live right now to talk about the situation over in Eastern Europe is Andy Golombieski. He's the host of the Polish American Show, which airs Saturday mornings at 11 o'clock on WEBR 1440 AM. Andy is also a former photojournalist here at Channel 2. Andy, it's great to see you terribly under these circumstances, but we appreciate you coming on the other side of the camera to talk to us about this. And we mentioned last week the big Radiothon effort um, that was happening with the Polish American Congress. It's a national organization, but I know uh, it's very close to the hearts of a lot of people here locally. I know you were involved in that over the weekend. Um, what kind of impact are we already seeing there? We're seeing a great impact. Organizations all across the country in the United States and Canada are participating. The Radiothon in Chicago lasted three days and my program here on Saturday served as kind of a mini Radiothon and also gave out the address where people can donate. And that money is going to help refugees in Poland or the Polish Red Cross, as well as to a medical group in Ukraine for medical needs there. So they've raised as of last count uh, up cl getting close to $200,000 and the uh, donations keep coming in. And there's also another foundation in New York that's raised half a million. Now these may sound like very big sums of money, but we have to remember that the refugees who are coming across, we have no idea how long this war is going to last. And they're coming across with currency, Ukrainian money, that is almost worthless in any other country. So there's a lot of adrenaline in Poland right now, a lot of energy, people driving across the entire country to the border with a sign saying, I've got room for four people in my home. Come with me, you know, complete strangers. But as the months go on, people will need jobs. They'll need all kinds of support. So anything that people give is very important from now on out. Yeah, it's such a great point. I mean, it's been so inspiring amid all of the heartache and these horrible images that we're seeing to also see so many people opening up their homes, opening up their hearts and people here opening up their wallets to help how they can. But the numbers are just astounding. I mean, we're almost at 3 million refugees who have now fled Ukraine over just the past 20 days. And as you mentioned, we don't know how long this is going to go on, um, but we know that there are Polish families bringing those refugees and providing them a place to live for now. And, you know, we learned today that your family in Poland has done that. Um, can you ex describe what that experience has been like for them? I got a call from a friend here, a Ukrainian American friend in Buffalo who says, I know that you have family in Poland. My cousins are escaping Kiev right now. They're on the bus. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they can help them? This was like the middle of the night. I contacted my cousin in Warsaw and within a few hours, she found an apartment for six people. Um, they're there, they're very happy, but Warsaw alone has 300,000 Ukrainian refugees right now. That's like picking up, like creating a whole new city of Buffalo mm. within a larger city. Uh, they're doing well, they want to work. These are not people who just want to be on the dole and get handouts. They're very proud, they're very humble, about the aid they're receiving. There are jobs in Poland right now because all these kids that are coming over now, we have to remember these are mainly women and children coming. Why is that? That's because men between the ages of, of 18 and 60 have to stay in Ukraine by government order to help defend the country. Mm. One of the uh, women who came that my cousin was able to put up, her sister gave her children to take care of her them and she said i'm staying back in ukraine to defend the country so my children have somewhere to come back to i mean how how moving and how inspiring is that Wow, it is just incredible and it's great to get your insight on all of this, Andy, as we we feel so disconnected from it, right? But there are so many people here of Polish descent and and who know and have loved ones in that part of the world. And uh, we've got to just continue to follow it and help how we can. We appreciate you coming on the show. It's good to see you. Thank you for the opportunity. All, all right. Best. And thank you, everybody, for watching on this Tuesday evening.